Shalom everyone and welcome to today's scripture with Ayaba G. And today's scripture is James chapter 1 verses 19 and 20 and it reads as follows. Wherefore my beloved brethren let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man works not the righteousness of Yahuwah. Are you quick to speak and slow to listen? Think about that, because that's the opposite of what this scripture says. We live in a society where everybody is talking. We have more ways to talk than ever before. We have more ways to say something than ever before. But few people ever want to take the time to listen. I know that that is something that is very hard for people to do. You have to remember you have two ears and one mouth. So that in and of itself should tell you, you should be listening twice as much as you are talking. But the opposite happens more often than not. More often than not, we're talking all the time. Boom. We're saying something. We're saying something. We're saying something before we think about what we're about to say. But this scripture is saying here, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear. That means you should be quick to listen. You should be quick to listen. You should be quick to hear what somebody else has to say. Or what somebody is trying to communicate to you. Now remember, listening is wanting to hear. Listening is wanting to hear. Most people are in the mindset of, well, I don't have time to, I don't have time to hear that. I'm not trying to hear all that. We hear that all the time. I'm not trying to hear all that. And then they go on to talk. We've got to renew our minds and get that mentality out of our lives. Because of the fact that people don't want to take the time to stop and listen and hear. We're quick to speak. And we end up in trouble. But here it says, be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. See, if we listened to each other more, if we heard what the other person had to say more, if the person was really trying to communicate something to you and trying to resolve something, and we stopped ourselves from speaking, and we weren't so quick to punish or implement wrath on somebody, then we will be able to solve a lot of problems that we may have that is going on in our lives. It goes on to say, for the wrath of man works not the righteousness of Yahuwah. So usually if you are implementing your own wrath on somebody else, usually you're not doing the right thing. You're not working the righteousness of Yahuwah. So you see a progression here. You've got to be swift to hear. You've got to change it around. Remember, we live in a society where everything is turned upside down, inside out, twisted and perverted. People are swift to speak, 
slow to hear, and fast to wrath. That's what's going on in the world today with most people. But we've got to come back to what the scripture is saying. Be swift to hear. Those two ears, the ones on each side of your head, start using them more. Start listening. Speak less. And don't be so quick to invoke punishment on somebody else before you hear the whole story. Talk less, listen more. The same letters that spell the word listen are the same letters that spell the word silent. You can't learn if you're always talking. See, even right now, I'm not learning because I'm talking. Okay, I, I can only truly learn when I'm listening, when I'm hearing. You know, faith comes by what? Hearing and hearing by the word of Yah. So hearing is very important. People think that hearing is not a part of communication. It, and listening is not a part of communication. People think communication is just talking. No. Communication, part of communication, a huge part of communication is listening. Is hearing. So, be, when you go into your day today, as you go throughout your day today, before you speak, Think about it. Start listening today. Put this passage of scripture into practice today. This is something that you can implement right away in your life. Be swift to hear. Start being observant. You go to work today or even, you know, if you're at home, say if you're a stay-at-home mom, you know, Maybe you took the day off today. Maybe you're spending some time with family and friends today. Whatever it is that you're doing, start implementing this passage of scripture. Take the time out to hear what the other person has to say. I guarantee you, you're going to you're going to get a different type of conversation because that person is going to say, "How come you're not talking?" Especially if you're a person that talks a lot and doesn't let another person get a word in edgewise. <laughs> okay. They're going to start asking what's wrong. Why aren't you talking? But I guarantee you this will change your life. Because like I like I said before, you know, the first thing that a person usually says or that they regret they say, "Oh man, I wish I hadn't said that. I wish I had just kept quiet or I wish I kept my mouth shut and it's too late because now there's an argument now there's a fight now there's a disagreement there's something going on now so now you got this passage of scripture many of you may have read it many many times but you still haven't implemented it in your life or maybe at least not consistently. And I know this is something that I have to work on as well. This is another spiritual benchmark that you can use to evaluate yourself, take that spiritual inventory, and start implementing it in your life today. Remember, be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. As you go throughout your day, remember to keep the Most High Yah first in every single area of your life. Give Him the highest esteem today. Praise Him. Worship Him. 
Bless his set apart name. Give him the hallelujah praise today. Have a blessed day. And with that, I will leave you with Shalom.